Why? We might just as well stay here. I should really stay. I'm so tired anyway. I prefer the darkness inside right now. This door has been creaking for years. One of the many things I promised I would fix. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. You things are being said anyway. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. I remember us washing it properly in the lake many summers ago. There's a lake. No trap door under there, just more creaky floor. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. You should have clinical depression. What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. Years passed, no tears fell, no death knell reached the golden shores they trod. Another love story without a happy ending. Years passed, no tears fell, no death knell. Reach golden shores they trod. Here well, most mortal in God, poison of flesh, and I am the Fay. To reason's light brought disarray. Broke the imagination shell, or all my earthly loves being your call. Cry, Oisin, lost, lost, as I am thrall. Changed. Time works differently in the other world. She's yeah. gone, and even then I just keep reading. But it's always been my way of looking for answers, processing information. I can think of worse ways. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. When did we let this window get so gunked up? There didn't seem to be much reason to keep it clean. Just overgrown bushes outside, brambles and thistles. I should clean the cabin. As a surprise, perhaps. No. Better wait until she gets back. There was a time long ago that all this disrepair felt oddly homey. Are you really sitting by this now? I like to know where these came from. Okay. Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. I almost have it. What was she trying to tell me? Of course, we made love here, too. Okay, okay. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things... Someone said, Work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud? Or Marilyn Monroe? Those are two very different people. Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me, Yet I made so little headway in all this time. It all seems so meaningless now. Drained of everything that made it worth reading in the first place. Well, these chains too. The great underground uh, empire history. One more key card, then I'll ask Susie out how space was ruined my life. Prominence, science fiction. Uh, for pieces for that main jump a little bit. A crazy guy to fortifying your liver, and that's why I'm single. No more. Kleptomania, big pockets, and better grabs. Life and death. Kickstarter addict. <laughs> Kickstarter addict. Power of presidents. Adventures of a scary bear. <laughs> Storyteller. A lot of rarities and special editions I here. Have to look around, honestly. I'm expecting to see something I don't want to see. Without any activity, the corner feels cold and lifeless. I'd give anything to see her standing here again, making coffee or sandwiches. I made my own too, of course, but it just made me happy to see. When she was happy, she'd hum her favorite songs as she puttered around. I can't remember the last time. Considering how basic and ancient the kitchen is, it's a wonder what we managed to do with it from time to time. Well, she mostly. All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. Will we have them again someday? If you open the darn trunk, I swear you will. This table has seen many happy times. 
the meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Oh, how we talked. I sure hope she comes back soon. We can sit down and discuss our problems, uh, like we always did. We could always work things out. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I'll see if I see anything new. It's also still 6.50. I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. <laughs> How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. Wow. I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. Nothing. That's funny. I don't recall seeing this plant before. It was here earlier. Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep it. Does it mean anything that it's next to her Bible? Anyway, it's just some boring plant. You say that, but probably. Isn't a true. plant is a plant. Beautiful. Yeah. Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? I don't think so, but. Memory can be so deceptive. Especially when it's not there. Could it hurt me to be a bit more open towards religion? Serena's faith was always a, a rock for her to lean on. And I certainly could use one right now. Yeah. Why can't you just accept that I want God in my life? Have you any idea how many times he has helped me get through? Of course you wouldn't know. He was there for me all the times you weren't. Wow. I don't feel like being admonished by a deity right now. I saw something here. I can almost feel her hair tickling my neck. The intoxicating smell of her skin. Why didn't I fix her lamp? Is that the reason why she was mad at me? But... How could I be so inconsiderate? Did this stupid lamp destroy my marriage? I, I... I... I will fix it. In case she comes back. I haven't got any bulbs on me, and I didn't bring any tools. It, what am I thinking? Why am I worrying about a stupid lamp? All of this... These... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. Whoa, what's up? All of this... these... that... All the real color faded from it long ago. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Why? Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's it's just not dark enough anyway. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. My god, you are so depressed. That doesn't look any different. I couldn't oh. care less about the damn thing now. Maybe I should have a look at the contact pages. Her and her damn spice. Well, two can play at that game. Serena thought she was so special, always trying to make our sex life edgy and exciting. Now I can see she was just afraid of admitting how bland and boring she really was. <gasps> Why are you so angry all the torture time? myself trying to remember. Too upset to even think straight. My god, why? It feels darker by the minute, but the sun is still high in the sky. Or is it? I feel so turned around. I can't be happening. No. I can still see even if the light is going. I'm not turning it on. I hate her so much. Maybe you need your blood pressure medicine.
I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. High blood okay. pressure. What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. This is hate now. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. But it was a sore point for me. My thoughts are all over the place. Get it together, dammit. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm... I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? Ugh, I'm too angry to even care. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? Where did this come I from? I torture myself trying to remember. I'm too upset to even think straight. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else. Just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. Unless... She was the one who left. I hate her so much. All of this... These... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're Dearest, all lies. How do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't... And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. Yeah, okay. And if stuff interests me yet? No. Oh, this stuff. Anything interests me here? No. Yeah. Things change suddenly. Yeah, yeah, that's that incessant noise! I should smash this useless antique to pieces right now! Do it, please! It can't keep the time for five minutes straight. It chimes completely at random and never stops making that infernal noise. But hey, guess who thought it was so cute? <laughs> Not you, apparently. This thing has caused me more sleepless nights than I care to remember. No wonder I'm going crazy! Sunlight. Birdsong. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope. No chance of anything. I couldn't care less about this damn th The light is so dim here. Makes me want to chop down every tree outside. There's only a limited window of opportunity for everything. And I wasted mine. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. Burn it? I told her the rug was fine work. Like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? So mean. I hate her so much. Jesus. Changeable man. Insolent wretch. <laughs> Sounds like Serena, all right. Her father's realm. She was a daughter of the Celtic sea god Mananon. Oh, what was it? Machler? Chinbo man, insolent wrench. Who was it made the first overtures? Name, love, and ending as time endures. Even as we rode across my father's realm, the mystic sea, bur burnished thy poet's helm. Know this. Scribe it in thy final sketch. Spell thy love without fault to the fay, or end thy life with the, feel it, with the feet of mortal clay. Scholars say Niav's divine father, Mananan, was of an elder race even more ancient than the Tuahaja Danan. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Oh, you decided to open it. The jewelry box. What is it doing here? Oh, there's, is that a bow? It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, that used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, 
But a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Is this where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. I should just destroy this useless junk. But not even the venom inside me gives me strength. Wow. I couldn't care less about it. Why torture myself trying to remember? Let's change again. No, it didn't. You want to replace it? Let's place it right here. Guess I could have thanked that heartless slut at least once whenever she covered up her body. Wow. No, this isn't like me. I must calm down. If anyone is to be blamed, that's me. This ugly old thing makes me feel sick. I'm too upset to even think straight. She once told me how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? How was I supposed to react when she used this, anyway? She knew I loved her. It's not like we have to say it over and over again. True. The smell of this disgusts me. So many lies. So much deceit. She probably left it here just to spite me. I hate her so much. Such a lie. The chair seems to be where everything happens. She's angry now. And part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb. Beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? Sure she was. I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Now what? I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. William Blake. Never those dry, blackened omelets again. Good riddance. Oh my God. What's I happened? couldn't care less about this damn thing. This armchair. This is where we had that talk. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. 
Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me! Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm getting more and more of the story. It's like looking into my own soul right now. Did I see shadows move? No. Just my imagination. It's like the whole world is against me. Even my mind is playing tricks on me. I'm too upset to even think straight. I'm gonna about the shit. Or the same, I guess. I'm gonna say about that. A part of me still thinks she'll forgive me and come back. But I've lost all hope now. Do I deserve to be forgiven? What about all the things she did and all the things she said? I feel like throwing this chair through the window. But that would just make me even angrier. Sit down. We need to talk. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. I hate her so much. It's a lie. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from- Words and dreams may be enough for you, but you know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon, because I've had enough. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I might put it in the jewelry box. I wanna look at it. Okay. I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them! Everything she wore, just to lure me in. Sure, that's why she did it. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire! What is wrong with me? A lot. I torture myself trying to remember. Nothing. 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 Beautiful things hidden here. Stupid, feeble minded woman with her silly, menial things. It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this. this sublunary distraction. Sure. She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. So much hate. I'm too upset to even think straight. It's just a book. What good will reading a fairy tale do me? So mean. God has never been there for me when I needed comfort. Why would he want to go out of his mysterious ways to help me now? Because you're being a jerk. I hate her so much. All of this... these... Pathetic souvenirs from our relationship. They're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. All of this... these... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. That. Nothing you want to be there. Nothing you want to be there. I want the darn box. Did this change? No, it didn't. Why torture myself? I'm too upset to even <gasps> think straight. Do I have like an inventory? I hate her so much. This is all that's left. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Her wedding ring or mine? But... what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. Oh, now you're sad. It's... hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. No, you're, no, I couldn't sure. care less about this damn thing. Sure. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. That wonderful smile. I must have gifted these to make amends or something. Or did I? Did I ever gift her anything? She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? Why torture myself trying to remember? I'm too upset to even think straight. No, I hate her so much. 
All of this... the... I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Okay, now what to make memory tag more? Did the poem change? It didn't. It's a bad idea. Why torture I sit here myself on the train. trying I to know remember? Nothing changed there. Can I open this now? That'd be nice. I can open it! Oh, I was scared for a second. Some things did not look right. Oh my god! My god. What is this? It can't. It isn't. What the hell is this? How did it happen? I can't remember. Don't worry. It's, it's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? I was joking when I it's said this. Dry and withered. What is it? Oh boy, I'm getting a little nervous here. Let me wake up. Let it be a dream. In that sleep of death, what dreams may come. Who was I can't that? bring myself to close my eyes. I know I'll see her. It... So it is her. What have I done? I was just joking. I didn't want it to be true. My own dark world. Barely alive. Is this my eternal punishment? I wonder if this plant is poisonous. With my luck, it would just give me a headache. Atropa Belladonna. You were a better fate for me. Is this... Purgatory? Job, was it? Why did I not die at birth? For now I would have lain down and been quiet. I would have slept. I would have been at rest. To hell with this book. We used to have some sleeping pills here. They're gone. Oh, I'd give anything for a bottle of scotch. I should electrocute myself with that lamp. Probably. I don't need to see that... that horror any better. I don't Is there someone out there? Or am I hearing things? I'm not taking any chances by turning this on. I feel sick. Flesh. Temptations. Oh no. I couldn't. Not after. I didn't touch her. I could have, but no. I did not. I'll just go down. Isn't time supposed to heal all wounds? Not when that person's in the armoire. I've really gone insane this time, haven't I? Would death be guaranteed if I... I'm too much of a coward to try killing myself with this. No light. Only darkness. I could swear time is standing still. How long must I suffer? He really is broken. The sun is a silent death for some. Dehydration? Delirium? If I smash the window, I could just slit my wrists with the shards. Bashing my head through might cut a carotid artery, even quicker than the wrists. We're planning death now. Shattering it would get me some sharp shards, but no, I'm so drained. It's all futile anyway. My God. If only I could see her hold this again. But now, this is real. No dream was ever like this. I didn't actually mean for you to actually kill I can't her, dude. touch it. My God. It was hers. What 
did I do to my love? I'm so not completely sure that isn't me. When was the last time she brushed her hair? Did I brush her hair? When I... They say hair is just dead cells anyway. The more hair you have, the more strands of dead cells sprouting from your scalp, streaming behind you in your wake. Nice way of thinking about it. It smells sour and musty, like decay. Evidence. Shit. Evidence. I can't run from this. Why would you want to? I didn't deserve her. Whatever happens to me, I will deserve it. You take our last romp around the house. I remember stumbling on this more than once, but she always insisted it be kept here. She did it on purpose. This rug. I could wrap the body in it. No. I can't. I, I can't even think about this. It's grotesque. Red like blood. Yellow like dead eyes. Last drop around the kitchen. With a twist of wind, Oshin fell hard on his homeland ground. You and me both, my warrior poet. You and me both. I read somewhere, I forget where, only one way a fairy romance can end. There's only one way anything can end, really. With a twist of wind, Oisin fell hard on his homeland ground. Watched his mouth flee, looked up and found a silent banshee. The throne of silver hair, how came I here? Trained as all on time's rocking beer. Thou art old, bird, come to me a bard. I blew in youth, now make way, husk man's husk. I go bear my past in the crimson dusk. <laughs> I must have taken her ring off when... Why is it in this chest? Was it guilt? Disgust? Denial? In sickness and in health, until death do us part. Why did she have to be like that? Why did she always toy with my feelings? That's life and love. What have I done to you, my Serena? I can't think about this. I feel faint. I have to breathe normally. My face? What's happened to my face? Is this my punishment? It's like looking into a mirror. I've just been slowly rotting inside all along. Until... I... Took her life. Dead, worm-eaten wood. The many times we sat here. So many. To think there would ever be a last time. The dinners, the laughs. I can't bear looking at it any longer. I'm... I'm going to be sick. There's no booze, no food. Even if there was anything left to eat or drink, I couldn't force it down. There's no point. Just words. This is... not life. All the words in these books couldn't bring her back to me. What have I become? All the knowledge in here was at my reach, and yet I was blinded by ignorance. Yeah, that's what the smartest people realize. That night, the night we had that fight, this is where she told me. What a damn fool I was. Don't walk away from me. Don't you fucking care anymore? Stop. Get back here. She was right. I wasn't good enough for her. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. It is me. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Yeah, I'm the dead one. I am Fine. the dead one. Fine. Give me the kerosene.
Oh shit! We forgot your... Fuck! It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. No! Not like this! Please! No! So it was me. I'm the one that's dead. Another dude was though. Oh, well, that was that. Selena. So I guess she killed me. And whoever that was was her lover. I was stuck there. Thinking I killed her, but no, 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 I was the one that was killed. I'm not sure if there's any way out. But, that was that. No idea if that was right or not, but that's what it was. Let me just skip this. Serena Nelson. Oh, Serena, not Selena. A lot of people want to make this game, jeez. Uh, Serena. That was interesting. It seems I'm dead. I died. they were talking about. So I'm gonna try and get the keys and leave, but that didn't work out. I just don't understand why she killed me. I had to press something to get out of this, jeez. Does this ever end?